Hello my little sapphires, hope you're all well. Welcome to a new video. I know that I haven't done a vlog for so, so, so long. Um, honestly, my life has become so manic this year. So this year I started running my own wrestling events. Um, obviously I'm still running custom wrestling events. Then I'm trying to get into property as well, service departments. Then I've got my content pages and then promoting myself as a wrestler, working on my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter, and then trying to have a social life. Honestly, it's been crazy, but I am so thankful for how everything is working out. Last night, I was lying in bed and I thought, you know what, Nad, your dreams are coming true. It might not be what you thought it was going to be like when you were a child. Like when I was a child, I wanted to go to WWE and that was my dream. But now I'm like, no, like they come in true in other ways. I'm living off Nadia Sapphire. I'm doing like, you know, a lot of things in wrestling at the moment. And I'm happy. I am so, so, so happy. I do have days when I am so stressed and I'm so tired and i'm moody and maybe i'm feeling a bit like unhappy that day because my body's in pain and stuff but overall i am so happy like i'm so grateful for everything i have i really am and i do my gratitude all the time and i think i am such a lucky lucky person um yeah i will touch up on that in another youtube video um i will at some point talk about being a uh, wrestling promoter now um the one thing i would like to say though is i think correct me if i'm wrong anyone i think i'm the first female only promoter and when i say that i know a lot of females promote shows with their partners but for me, this is purely just all me by myself. I am doing every aspect of my shows. I am literally promoting them, doing the tickets, doing the Facebook ads, getting the poster designs done. Like basically like I send um, my good friend, um, Aaron, I send him like, you know, what I want out of a poster and he does it all for me. I use all of my own money for these shows to put into these shows. I book all the wrestlers. Um, yeah everything and i actually wrestle on the shows as well um so yeah i am doing every aspect of it and i just think now um being 30 years old i just feel like i just want to be a workhorse i want to be a boss bitch um well i'm a boss bitch but yeah i just literally just want to work 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 and just inspire and just show people you can do whatever you want mm. um and you can have as many jobs or as many businesses as you want as well <laughs> but anyway um like i said i will go into that on another video um and i will also show you guys footage of my events i'm gonna try and pour all of the money which i make from these events into next year's events to try and get like a really cool setup and stuff like that so uh let's see if that all comes no it will come reality it will come true dreams come true remember that but anyway this is a q a and i have some questions of a few of you guys i only announced my q a on twitter sorry um it just saves me from going on all these other platforms and um, trying to check out all the questions so yeah i announced the q a um on twitter yesterday and these are the questions so omega nova said out of the entire women's roster in AEW, who is the best booty in AEW, and who is the prettiest woman in AEW that you want to stink face okay so I'm going to say my girl Shida has the best booty only because we've had a battle of the booty matches but then also they have signed Tony Storm and Tony Storm's got a great booty hasn't she <laughs> but um, I just want to say obviously it's not all about how a girl looks AEW has very talented amazing women their roster is unbelievable at the moment and I would literally love to wrestle anyone on the roster also as well jamie hater she literally works so hard in the gym her glutes are amazing she's in wicked shape at the moment so shout out for jamie hater uh keenon 
Kion de Chazo said, what inspired you to get into wrestling? So I've had this question so many, so many times, but then I guess for people who haven't watched my, pre my previous vlogs, um, it's just nice to like, you know, give you guys a little refresher. So I started watching it when I was about nine. It was 2001 um, and I literally fell in love with it. So yeah, I guess about nine because that would have been 21 years ago. And in school, I'd draw wrestlers, I'd have wrestling figures. Honestly, I loved wrestling. I was so in love with wrestling. Um, and I just had to be a wrestler. That was it. There was nothing else I could be. In school, they'd always say, nah, you're not gonna be a wrestler. Like, you know, when teachers would be like, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I'd say a wrestler. They'd be like, come on, Nad, let's be realistic. And I was like, no, no, a wrestler. It just has, has to be, like, I have to be a wrestler. And now I live off now to your Sapphire. And I'm so, so, so lucky for that. And I can't thank all of you enough for that because without having, my social media fan base, people buying my merchandise, people signing up to my content pages. Um, honestly, I just wouldn't have what I have now. So I just really appreciate you all. So thank you so much. Even tuning into my YouTube videos, liking them, commenting on them, subscribing to my YouTube videos, it all helps. It all helps with the algorithm, being on my social medias. It all helps that follower count and that's what gets me noticed at the end of the day. So thank you so much, guys. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Christian the Reaper said, if you're ever in a tag team match, your finisher was a camel clutch, Boston Crab double submission, and who would your partner be and why? So I guess you mean, I'd want to do the camel clutch, actually. You know what? I do do Boston Crabs, like when we do like power girl shoots, but I prefer doing the camel clutch. Um, so I'd want to put the person on camel clutch. Tag team partner, shall I say my little Welsh witch, Kat Von Cage? <laughs> or maybe uh, the Canadian destroyer, Giselle Shaw. One of them would have to be my tag team partners because I literally love them, both, both of them girls to bits. So one of them would have to be my tag partner. Black Bullet said, um, well, would you go to Impact Wrestling and answer Diano Proazzo's champ, champ challenge, sorry, um, <laughs> my reading's awful, 100%. You know what, out of a lot of the promotions, I've always said Impact is somewhere I would love to go because I just feel like with Impact, you've got the best of everything. You're on TV, you're traveling, but you still get a lot of downtime. You can still take outside bookings. You can still have your content sites. You can still have your merchandise for me like impact is somewhere I would love to work and go if like I had to pick somewhere obviously everyone wants to like to go to WWE and they want their Wrestlemania moments and all that and I'd never turn it down but I don't think they want me anyway I'm 30 now so yeah <laughs> but um at the same time I'm just thinking of like um like if like say in WWE like you're on the road every day all day like and you've got a massive corporate company in charge of every aspect. With somewhere like Impact, you get that little bit of downtime, you get that flexibility, you get to work other places, you get to make money elsewhere. So for me, that's a lot more appealing because I do get like, you know, anxious at times and I can get down and low. So I think anything where you've got pressure, um, I probably find hard eventually. Anyway, I just want to show you guys who I'm smoothing. Oh my God, it's Nala. There she is. Say hi, Nala. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, in case you didn't know what I was doing, it's Nala. Okay, Bobby said, who is your dream opponent at Impact Wrestling and NWA? So, oh my God, speaking of Impact Wrestling, they've got so much amazing talent. My best friend Giselle Shaw is currently in Impact at the moment, so I guess I have to say her, and I'd be biased as well, but I do think she is like one of the best female wrestlers ever. Um, I'd love to wrestle Jordan Grace, I'd love to wrestle uh, Tennille, um, there's so many, oh my god, and the Iconics, I would literally love to work them. I'd love to tag with them actually, I think that'd be so fun. <laughs> Um, Blue Easy said, hey Nadja, I hope you've been doing really well. Do you have a dream opponent that you wish to compete against one day, if given a chance? I've always said that I'd love to wrestle Tony Storm. Um, 
love to wrestle here i would love to wrestle serena deeb like oh my god she is like a submission specialist and i love tech wrestling and when it comes to like tech wrestling getting in submissions now with submissions i can just go for ages and i feel like my mind is sort of like um like whenever i'm like attacking with someone mine's always like trying to figure out like a new way to get out of this hold and stuff like that and i love that aspect of wrestling i'm not really like a move person i'm not the best at moves and taking all these crazy high impact moves so for me i do love the technical side of wrestling and when i'm in training that's what i really enjoy doing <laughs> simon marshall said uh, did you watch wrestlemania 38 this year so i'm still on saturday um i'm on seth rollins versus cody um yeah i literally watching like say like one match a night um i work about 11 12 hours some days i'm constantly traveling so i am getting through wrestlemania that um i didn't have like 10 hours to watch the all because wasn't it like five hours on the saturday five hours on the sunday so yeah um oh my god actually no i did watch um cody yeah uh, yeah cody versus Seth i'm on because yeah becky versus bianca ballet was just amazing wasn't it? it was such a good match and that was before that match so yeah <laughs> um carrot lena said are you wrestling at the exposure show exposure show in this sunday in go go see on i can't even say go seen on unfortunately i am not booked at that exposure show hopefully i work with them one day soon but i'm not at that show but i really hope they smash it and it all goes amazing um black bullet said if you came to the us would you be open to face wwe's queen selena in and stink face her to show her who the real queen is or carmella to show her who the most beautiful woman in the world is of course i need to show them who the real stink face queen is <laughs> that's me nadia sapphire um abel gutter has said who and what inspired you to become a pro wrestler so um there's no point in me repeating that again is there but honestly it's so nice that like i've got a few a few different people asking um i guess it's like it's nice like to think that i'm growing a new audience because people who asked about a year ago have obviously had the answer but the fact that i've always got new people following me on social media now they're asking the question which is nice if that makes sense um david king said afternoon uh nadia apart from wrestling what would you love to do career wise so uh career wise i really want to get into serious apartments at the moment um for me i don't feel like i'm passionate about it for me it's more like um an investment opportunity um regarding career i enjoy doing social media I wish I had more time to do YouTube. Um, at one point I was making money off YouTube, but I haven't done YouTube for ages now. But I wish I had like more time to do it and like actual like camera crews and stuff like that. But I'd love to, I'd love to do reality TV. I think that'd be something so amazing. And I think I'd be amazing on reality TV. Everyone says I would. Um, I'd love to do reality TV and be on a regular show that would be an amazing fun career which i think i'd thrive off so any reality tv shows want me <laughs> um joshua rodriguez which which anime did you watch i'm so stupid i don't know what an anime is is an anime like cosplay um dave said when can we see you in the memphis tennessee usa area oh my god you know what i want to really tour the usa now this year at some point i need i need to sort it out i need to make it happen i feel like i need like to do like a petition send nadra to the usa or something <laughs> um i do need to do it um yeah i really do i've meant i was meant to do it a few different times and it just didn't happen i was meant to go to new england female at one point um then another point i was meant to be doing a tour in usa and i had a few bookings there and the person who was meant to be bringing me over just turned into a right weirdo and was trying to basically get with me 
I did a video on that. Scroll down and find it. It's called something like why I'm not going to the USA. If I can find it, I will link it in, link it in the description. But yeah, I would love to come to the USA. Um, that's that's the dream right there, actually, to wrestle in the USA. Anyway, guys, that's the end of my Q and A. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing some more videos soon. I've got to film my show vlogs, and I've got to film um vlogs about being becoming a female promoter. Um, so I do need to do them when I get a bit of time, and also when I've got makeup on because um I don't want to film when I've not got makeup on. I don't look the best uh, without my makeup. Um, as always, uh, like, subscribe, um, all of my links are down below for any of my content pages, my social media sites, my TikTok, uh, my Snapchat, everything is all down below, but I'll see you all next time. <laughs>